So we've recorded the song and uh, it's based in uh, Rag Shivaranjani. Generally a rag is, is based in one tonic note, so it's in a, one key throughout the performance. What I like to do is change the key, changes the mood of the rag for a moment in the song and then comes back to its original emotion. So for instance, this is the original recording of uh, Ankita. So this is how I layered the track uh, once we took the tanpara and the tabla out and reapproached it. So this is the just the vocal alone. Adding major chords and things like that, which kind of changing the emotion a little bit. And then also reapproaching the rhythm pattern as well because it's actually sung in a half time. So I created some double time drum. And then I uh, reapproached the tabla put it through a, a filter so that it, 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 it sounds like it's coming in and out from the distance. So the uh, song is done and the track is sounding great on these headphones. I can hear the whole frequency range of all the instruments that we used, everything from the clarity of the classical instruments to the sub bass, to the program drums, to the piano, everything sounding crystal clear and uh, sounding like it was in the studio. I think oftentimes people are listening to music on bad equipment and not something that's reproducing what the producer or the musician intended. The purity of sound is definitely translated. You know, I think that everything that we did in the studio, uh, the way that the song was mixed is coming through you know, right now and it's, it's sounding great. So check out my new track and make sure you listen to it on good quality headphones.